Have you ever wondered why ships don't pass under South America? It's a question that sparks curiosity and intrigue. South America, a continent uniquely positioned between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, seems like a logical shortcut for maritime transportation. Yet, it's seldom used for this purpose. This conundrum, a fusion of geography and maritime logistics, has puzzled many for centuries. South America, with its lush Amazon rainforests, towering Andean peaks, and enigmatic Inca and Mayan ruins, is more than just a continent. It's a kaleidoscope of cultures and ecosystems, a land that has fascinated explorers and scientists alike. But when it comes to the world of shipping, the waters around South America tell a different story. A story that is less about the allure of discovery and more about the practicalities of maritime transportation. So, why don't ships pass under South America? To unravel this maritime mystery, we need to delve into geography and logistics. South America's geography is a significant factor in this maritime conundrum. At first glance, the continent might seem like an accessible route for ships to pass under, but once you dive into the details, the reality is far from simple. Running along the western edge of South America is the mighty Andes mountain range, the longest continental mountain range in the world. These towering peaks create a formidable natural barrier, with the highest point reaching a staggering 22,841 feet. But it's not the height of these mountains that pose a problem for ships, rather, it's the impact they have on the surrounding waters. The Andes influence the weather patterns, creating complex wind systems that can whip up into violent storms with little warning. Now, add in the cold currents flowing up from the Antarctic, and you have a cocktail of maritime challenges that would give even the most seasoned sailors pause. Then there's the infamous Drake Passage. This stretch of water, located at the southern tip of South America, is widely regarded as one of the most treacherous sea routes on the planet. Here, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Oceans all converge, creating unpredictable and often hazardous sea conditions. The Drake Passage is notorious for its high winds, with speeds often exceeding 50 miles per hour, and its monstrous waves that can reach heights of up to 50 feet. It's a place where the phrase smooth sailing is seldom used. The harsh weather conditions and treacherous waters in the south of the continent pose significant challenges for ships. It's a dangerous and unpredictable environment that requires expert navigation skills, top-notch equipment, and a lot of courage. So, geography presents us with our first set of challenges, but there's more to it. Scene Script Beyond geography, logistics play a pivotal role in why ships don't sail under South America. You see, the southern part of the continent, while rich in natural beauty, lacks the necessary port infrastructure that ships require. It's not that there are no ports at all, but the ones that do exist are not as developed or well-equipped as their counterparts in the north. This means that ships have to contend with inadequate docking facilities, limited repair services, and a lack of essential supplies. And then there's the issue of costs. Long-distance sea travel is an expensive endeavor. Ships consume vast amounts of fuel and the longer the journey, the higher the fuel costs. Crew wages too accumulate over time, plus there's the cost of wear and tear on the ship itself. All these factors combine to make the southern route around South America a financially unviable option for most shipping companies. But what about the Panama Canal? This man-made marvel offers a shorter and safer route for ships traveling between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Constructed in the early 20th century, the canal cuts through the narrow isthmus of Panama, effectively slicing the Americas in two. This shortcut saves ships thousands of nautical miles on their journey, significantly reducing fuel costs and travel time. Furthermore, the canal is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and services, making it a far more attractive option for ships. And despite the toll fees, the total costs are still lower than what they would incur on the longer route under South America. However, the canal is not without its challenges, it can only accommodate ships of a certain size known as Panamax vessels. Larger ships, or post-Panamax vessels, are simply too big to fit. But even with this limitation, the Panama Canal remains the preferred choice for the majority of maritime traffic. The logistical hurdles then, add another layer to our understanding. The decision to bypass South America is not just about geography, it's also a matter of logistics, economics, and practicality. The maritime world is indeed a complex labyrinth, with each decision influenced by a myriad of factors. So, why don't ships pass under South America? You might recall from our earlier discussion that the geography of the region presents a formidable challenge. The tempestuous seas, the unpredictable weather, 
and the icy conditions of the region all conspire against smooth sailing, but it doesn't end there. The logistical nightmares of such a route with the lack of infrastructural support and the scarcity of ports only add to the woes. But there's a silver lining to this cloudy picture, the Panama Canal. This man-made marvel provides a safer and more economical alternative, cutting through Central America and offering a more predictable and manageable route for maritime traffic. Its strategic location and efficient operations have made it the preferred choice for ships. In the end, it's a matter of practicality and safety, proving once again that the shortest path isn't always the one that's straight. This maritime mystery, then, is no mystery at all when we look closer. It's a fascinating blend of geography and logistics that shapes the course of our world's maritime traffic. In this case, the intricate dance between the physical contours of South America and the practical demands of shipping has created a pattern that might seem puzzling at first glance. Yet, that's the beauty of our world. It's not just about the physical landscapes that we see, but also about the unseen forces that guide our actions. It's about the questions we ask, the mysteries we seek to unravel, and the knowledge we gain in the process. This is how we understand our world. It's a constant journey of discovery, driven by curiosity and a desire to know more. So, keep probing, keep navigating the depths of your curiosity. The world is full of fascinating questions. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and who knows what mysteries you'll solve next. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.